Hello there everyone, this is Seb and welcome to another Let's Check video. This time we're playing this game here, which is, uh, well, what this is actually. Hmm, it's not all too common to hear someone talk about this one, but it's actually a very neat game on the NES. And I got kind of a hate-love relationship with this game because even though it's really cool and it has great concept, it's also really, really ridiculously hard. Anyway, we've got this awesome lush planet here and it's amazing and... Ugh. Well, we had this awesome, amazing lush planet here. I think the name is uh, Altail or Altail, I don't know. And uh, it's been taken over by the Xanto Empire. And uh, Earth decided to send in their Z-type Earth Defense thingy, uh, otherwise known as Zed. And he's going to save the day because he's going to repair the weather station and uh, restore peace to this once lush planet, which has now gone pretty much to crap. And as you can see right in the top corner, we have batteries because he's apparently a very old cyborg. So we need to. Um, get a move on because Zed will run out of batteries and that will mean death. Uh, but we are already having a problem here because there's trees in our ways. Blast the trees. But we can blow them up with bombs. Sweet. Now you might see resemblance here to a certain game that had something to do with bombs, had men in the name. Can't quite put my finger on it. Ah, Bomberman. Yes. And you might get your pitchforks out already and call... Oh crap, I got hit by the bomb. Awesome. Uh, before you get your pitchforks out uh, to, to, to hunt down Jellico for their ripping off of Bomberman, just keep those pitchforks sieved for now because uh, this game was actually developed by Hudson Soft. Jellico was only acting as the publisher in the West. Uh, in the beginning, it's a good idea to collect some goodies before you head off into uh, to the right and probably die. There's two very nasty enemies to the right there, which I want to avoid. Ooh, another candle, that's nice. Uh, just as in Bomberman you can lay the bombs, unlike in Bomberman you have a very, very short time... Oh crap! <laughs> You have a very short time to actually get out of the way. It's like one second uh, the fuse loss and then it blows up. Because, uh, yeah, Zed has, uh, has little time. So, you know, that even holds true for his bombs, apparently. You also have a subscreen because unlike in Bomberman, most of your items you pick up do not take effect right away. So, you have to actually select them and then use them. We're actually gonna use this one, the missile, to get rid of those nasty things over there because they can. Sh oh crap. They can sh shoot and they will mess up your lunch in a hurry. And I'm almost dead, so. I'm actually going to use an energy refill. Yeah, why not? Okay, so that's, that's kinda. What was that? Oh crap, I had to select it again. Ah, crap, that was not good. <laughs> now I don't have energy refills anymore. That could be a problem. A uh, big problem. Uh, something you really want to get used to is the way how Zed uh, places bombs. Like, you can't, like in Bomberman, lay him behind you because he will always place them right in front of him and because the short fuse time, uh, this can get you into trouble. And I'm out of bombs? Oh no, I'm not. Why didn't the B button work? A button shoots, B button is for bombs. It's uh, fairly simple. Do not go into the water. Water is death. Because uh, old androids or cyborgs or I don't know what the heck Z is. But uh, yeah, those, those old types, they cannot withstand water at all. Uh, this goes downstairs. Well, let's just show it off and hope I don't die. It's dark in here, so here you use the candles. Unlike most items, the candles will get used uh, as you actually select them. Instead, the other items you actually have. Ooh, those shots from those guys—they hurt. I think they take off like one entire uh, battery 
So you really want to avoid those nasty, nasty spider things. All enemies have names, and it's all in the manual and, and, and stuff. But, uh, of course I, I, I've forgotten them. Okay, time for another candle. Hopefully I can uh, make it out of here. Ooh, now I think... Yeah, you can just walk into these guys as you have your uh, shield up, which is very cool. Ah, and we get out of here. Sweet! So, the object of the game is of course to go through the levels. It's quite different than the Bomberman uh, we all know and love though. Because it's not just kill all the enemies, get to the exit, no, 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 no. This game is a bit cryptic and this is why this game is so freaking hard. If you just keep on going, the level will loop indefinitely. Which is very annoying. Um, what you want to do is find a chalice. And it's hidden in one block. <laughs> one freaking block in the entire level has a chalice. If you find that, you will stop the level from looping. And there it is. It's always in the same spot, which is at least a good thing. But uh, yeah, uh, kind of sucks. And I think if I remember correctly from the years I have actually tried to beat this game, which weren't very successful, mind you. I think there's actually a little secret over here. Yes. This spot of water is different. Look at our items. Go in here. And everything doubled. Very cool. Except the life preserver for some reason. Uh, these are the superpowers. Uh, I think they cannot double then, I guess. But uh, yeah, cool little secret that. And let's move on. Let's see if I can actually finish the level. Um, because the game is so mean, it, it's... It's very, very easy to die in a hurry and... Uh, no, good, good. <laughs> I typically uh, don't even finish the first level. Like I think the most I ever got was like to level two or something, and uh, even as a kid. And it, it, this is just one of those games that I like the concept. Ooh, that's nice. Uh, the P thingy actually extends your range, so you can shoot a bit further, as you can see. But yeah, this is one of those games that I'd really like to finish one of these days, but uh, man, it's so hard. Perhaps one day I will create a Let's Play series of it and uh, put in a valiant effort as such. But in the meantime, you know, this will just have to do until I die, which uh, is probably not going to take too long. These are actually the 10 bombs. We're really doing good on bombs. It's it's very good in the beginning to start uh, collecting some bombs uh, from the, the, the floating guys. Uh, because it, it kind of sucks when you're mid in the middle of the level and depending on the layout where... Did he hit me? Who bastard. Depending on the layout, it can be very tough to collect some more bombs. And those star symbols, they actually increase your score. Now, score of course is pointless, however in this game they actually did something with it. Ha! Uh, which is really cool. Because as your score increases, you will actually raise Zed's defense as well. I do believe there's another secret somewhere here. I do not remember where. Uh, almost dead again, but luckily we still have two of these. And yeah, your life goes uh, out really fast, unfortunately. Ah, there it is. There's three statues here. If you basically have to gamble here, you need to blow them up. And if you blow up the wrong one, you will uh, get nothing. If you blow up the right one, you will get a nice item. I don't think the third one will give you... Nope. So the third one... The, the middle one, if I had blown it up uh, right away, I would have not gotten anything. And now I got actually... Ooh, the best item in the game. 
That's pretty awesome. This blows up everything on the screen, including all of the blocks. Very cool. Okay, so moving on. Because we're not out of the woods yet. Literally. There's quite a bunch of boots, uh, woods here. Okay, so... Let's go. Um... And yeah, this level I know well because this is like the level that I've uh, always managed to complete fairly easily eventually. Uh, but later levels I have no clue where anything is and uh, starting from the second level I'd, uh, actually I have no clue where the chalice is there as well. Uh, there is a continue option. I do believe I remember correctly that if you continue... Oh crap! Whew. If you continue then you will actually uh, be powered down just like in Bomberman. Freaking hell man. <laughs> And uh, yeah, along the way here on the second row, there is also a key which you need. If you do not pick up the key, the, the level will end here and you can just blow up all the blocks and you will be able to find it anyway. Uh, but yeah, if you would have not found the chalice by now, the level would loop. You would just have to replay uh, from part of the level. But yeah, we actually made it guys. We made it. Awesome. Ah, and uh, we've got three thingies. Uh, we can't buy anything. <laughs> but yeah, it's very cool. So at the end of every level, you get a little shop thing and um, those awards or no, what what were they? medals? Yeah, uh, they uh, they can be exchanged for some items. But I'm a poor, 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 poor guy. Okay, so here we are, level two. Let's see how far I can go, which probably you not know, all too far. Um, yeah, I've got a bunch of bombs. I'm not gonna waste time around here to collect some more. Let's just dive straight in there. Now here's the thing, because I have no idea where the... Uh, ooh, a lot of candles. I have no idea where the, the, the thing is, the, the chalice, so... This is very hard. <laughs> I also have no clue where the secrets are in here anymore. Perhaps I found them. Um, I think every level has one of those uh, water areas and one of those uh, uh, hidden doors. Really, game? Can I still? Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> uh. Probably one place in that wall is also a weak spot, so even if you get stuck by scrolling the screen too far, you probably be able to blow a part of the wall up, otherwise uh, that would be very, very mean. But we don't have to look for that, because, ooh, how many candles do we have? Two, that should be enough. Yeah, let's go. Yum, yum. Okay. So, let's quickly get rid of these guys. If you've seen those blobs, they will just either pop into a block or they will pop into an annoying little bastard thing that flies around you and keeps hitting you. Which is very annoying to deal with. Like that guy. Get away! They can also make it into a blue kind of guy. Uh, they are a bit easier to deal with and they will fly off the screen. Kendo is already gone, that's no good. Okay, I want to be fast about this bit, so I can find the exit. Um, good thing to remember, if your candle runs out of juice, um, remember at what point you actually enter the underground section here, because at the same height is also where the door appears again. Get away, you bastard. There we go. So we found the underground door there. Sep, will you stop doing that? That makes Sep very, very nervous. <laughs> uh, and here is another problem. Ouch. Yeah, uh, a bomb takes off like two blocks. 
Because here's the river, and as we've already discovered, touch the water, you dead. Nope. <laughs> but luckily we have a life preserver. Uh, actually, just to make sure... That the chalice is not here. It's not, unfortunately. Okay, so let's... Ooh, and they're even nice enough to give you a life preserver right on the thing. And this will stop time. Yeah, let's just show off some power-ups, why don't we? Whoa, uh, let's first select the, the life preserver. So now we can pass over the water. Otherwise, death. It's no good. It's no good at all. Okay, so uh, let's continue on. Another candle. We won't be needing that, methinks. Another candle. Yeah, now we need to find a weak spot here. It seems. Oh well. We can do that. We can do that, guys. That is no problem to us. Right? Right. It's not there. Ooh, another dark area. Well, I'm just gonna skip this one because we've already been through one. And it uh, takes up quite a bit of time, doesn't it? <laughs> Ouch. Uh, is there... Oh, maybe we need to actually go through here. Hmm. Could be. Yeah, I guess we need to. Okay, whatever. Let's go and plow through here again. Ooh, another life refill. Luckily, they're not too stingy with uh, life refills. That's nice. But still, um, it, it's just... Mm. Oh, it, it actually flew off screen. Awesome. Ha! Now I've got the power. You are all suckers. Actually, let's show off the boots as well, because they make you walk a bit faster. Not too much faster, but, you know. We're doing actually really well here. I'm kind of surprised. I'm not used to it. Usually when I pick this game up... No, there's still... What the hell? Where is the thing to blow up the wall? Ugh. Must be somewhere, right? Or is this like one way you need to hit it five times or something? I don't know. It's, it's been too long, man. It's been too long. Let's just try it. Let's just try it. Get plenty of bombs anyway. Nope. How do you go through here? I feel kind of stupid now. <laughs> Perhaps this was the part where I've always gotten stuck, who knows. It's been way too long since I actually made it here. <laughs> Let's just clear out the place and uh, see what happens. Could probably lock it up, but uh, eh. Lazy. But yeah, this is one game I... I do want to complete someday and actually go through and uh, because I, I love the concept it's using uh, also I didn't notice uh, or I did notice but I didn't note it I didn't say it but the music in this game is really really awesome it's one of the most uh, underrated uh, soundtracks ah hello uh, okay so let's do the middle one first and let's do this one first and yeah oh I guess right again. Oh, now I get, I do get a third one. So, okay. So, no, I didn't get it. Um, yeah, right. So, what do I do now? I don't know. I have no clue. Can we blow it up with a missile? Pew! No. <laughs> No, I, uh, I... Ah, there we go. Mm. 
But yeah, guys, uh, do let me know if you've ever uh, played this game and uh, what you think of it. I like it, it's an awesome game, it's a very hard game, but uh, it's cool. It's uh, If you take your time and take it easy, you can manage to do it and eventually you will learn where everything is and that makes things a bit easier. But man, is it easy to die. I'd say this is enough for now, you've got a good impression of the game. Do look up the soundtrack as well, because it's awesome music all around in this game. Very, very cool music, and uh, yeah, Hudson Soft did an amazing job on this NES game. Uh, which is also available on the MSX, I think. I've never uh, played that version, but it's uh, interesting to note. If someone does have uh, the MSX version, I'd be interested to check it out and see it. So, you know, uh, by all means, make a video of that. And if you know how to beat this game fully, also uh, <laughs> let me know, because I'm curious. There's also bosses, but I've n another underground thing. I've never seen a boss in this game. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, guys, this is it for me. I am just going to blow myself up. And be done with it. Otherwise I just keep going because it's too good, it's too good. And there's very sad game over music here. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Join me next time for another video. Until then, take care. Bye bye for now.